In this chapter, we'll learn about the principles of tidy data and some functions from the R package TidyR that help you to make data tidy. First, let's open up a new R Markdown file. Okay. The libraries we'll be using for this section are the Tidyverse library and the Data Skills library. Okay. So first, what is tidy data? So first, what is tidy data? Tidy data adhere to three principles. Each variable must have its own column, each observation must have its own row, and each value must have its own cell. So what does that mean? Let's create a data table for a fictional study. Let's use the triple function so we can create the data table in a way that looks very much like um, a spreadsheet. So we can set the variable headers across the top. Let's set our participant ID as the first header. And um, a header for demographic information. So we have participant one, and let's say they're female and age 20. Participant 2, they're non-binary and age 19. And participant 3 didn't tell us their gender or age. Okay, so in this particular table, you can print that out. This violates the first principle that each variable must have its own column. We have gender and age both in the same column. So what we would actually want to do here is set up separate columns for gender and age to make this table tidy. This is especially a bad idea when your um, variables are different data types. So gender is a character string. So gender is a character string, and age is a numeric value. OK, so now we've made our data consistent with the first principle, having one column for each variable. Now observations are a tricky thing to think about. Right now, our observations are just participants. So each part participant does have their own row. But if we add to this um, some trials on a test, we're measuring, say, reaction time for three different trials. So RT1, RT2, RT3. And these will be our three observations of reaction time for each person. And let's just set some fake numbers here. Let's give everybody the same one, just to be quicker. OK. Oops, forgot a comma there. All right. Now we violated this second principle of tidy data, that each observation needs to have its own row. We have three observations per row here. So how can we make this table tidier? We can convert these three observation columns into two new columns, one column that tells us which observation type is it, reaction time one, two, or three, and another column that gives us the value of that. So what we can do is set up, make the column type and the column value, and then each participant now gets three rows. Here we're going to have to repeat some information from previous rows. Or we can actually take these let's just start over there.
So the second principle is that each observation must have its own row. Imagine we had a So the second principle is that each observation must have its own row. Imagine we had a study with three trials, trial one, trial two, and trial three. And participants had to respond to some stimulus in each trial and give it a rating between one and seven. Okay, so Here are the ratings our participants one through three have given. This table violates this principle of each observation having its own row because each row has three separate observations in it. We can make this tidy by converting this from what we call wide format, the format you see here, into long format, where instead of each observation having its own column, we convert that to two separate columns, one column that tells you which ob type of observation it is, and another column that tells you what the value is. So we can change this to type and value. You can give these any names you want. And then for participant one, their value for trial one, we can just say one, is one. Participant one, their value for trial two is two. And for participant one, their value for trial three is three. For participant two, their value for trial one is two. Their value for trial two is three. And their value for trial three is four. And for participant three, their value for trial one is three. Their value for trial two is four. And their value for trial three is five. Now, this table gives us the exact same information as the previous one, but in long format. Now, with only three trials and three participants, it was pretty tedious to change that from wide to long format. And so in the rest of this chapter's lesson, we'll learn some functions that help you convert tables from wide to long format.